In this video, I'll be teaching you how to perform routing in React. Routing in React refers to the process of navigating between components of views within React applications. So as you can see on the screen, I have my home page and my blog page. And from my home page, I can click a button which takes me to my blog page. And I also have a button on my blog page that takes me back to my home page. So by the end of this video, you learn how to uh, do something like this and even extend this to all your pages in your React application. Let's continue. First of all, I've created a React project and this is just displaying routing in React. And what I'll do is to uh, get rid of everything here. So we don't need all of this. So I'll just get rid of this. Uh, we just need uh, app.css, which is fine. Also, I'll get rid of everything in this particular div, which we will not need. Yeah, so I'll save this for now and we'll have nothing open here. And what I'll go ahead and do is to create two components. So on my source folder, I'll click on this and create two new files. And the first file will be home.jsx and the second one will be blog.jss. So um, let me quickly create that one as well. All right, we have our two files created and the next thing we have to do is to install the react router dom so uh, open a new terminal and make sure you are still in your directory and what you have to type is npm install react hyphen router hyphen dom just hit enter on this and this is going to uh, install this particular library for you i've already installed mine you can see up to date so in my home page all i will do is to uh, define a function I'll call home and in this function takes no argument but all it will do is to uh, return a div which contains of h1 and inside this h1 uh, we are just going to type home page that's all for now and uh, quickly I'll just add another button that takes us to our block page so I'll write a button and this inside this button i'll just type blog so this button when being clicked on it should take me to uh, my blog page so this is all for the home page for now and i'll quickly um, export this so export default and then uh, i'm going to export my home page and that's it so i'll quickly save this and that's cool and uh, if i want this to show i'll just come to my app.jsx and inside here i can uh, make this one display to see how it looks like so just type home here and this is going to automatically import our home component so you can see import home from home so when you just type it here like this it will automatically import it and when i save this you can see we have our home page with a button here which we can click so let's also go ahead and design our blog page with the blog page we also have a function so let's call this blog and inside here it takes node parameters and all we'll do is also return div and inside this div first let's have a title for our blogs i'll start with h1 and inside here um i'll just give it a name of today's news all right after this we also have a paragraph which will display some uh, random text as our blog so um i just need about three lines so i'll just type lorem and uh multiply by maybe three and this will give me three lines of test i'll save this and finally uh in our blog div we also have a button that will take us back to the home page so let me just put up a button here and uh, i'll type in home here and this button when click on it should take me to the home page all right so we have our two uh pages now ready so we just need to perform routing between these two pages back to my app.jss what i'll do um, is to also uh, display this other page we've created to see how it looks like so the name here should be blog all right so um you can see i forgot to export the component so i'll come back here and uh, type export defaults and the name of the component which is blog so this is what i need to do and then when i come back to the app.jss i can put it up here and quickly to import it automatically i don't really want to retype all that so when i save this now you can see we have our home page and the button our today's news and uh the button as well that will take us to home 
So now what we need to do is to display the home page and then when we click here, it takes us to the blog page and we click home, it takes us back to the home page. So to do that, we have already installed the React Router DOM. So what we'll do is to import a couple of things from that particular library. So first of all, we'll import and inside here, we'll import the browse router, okay, from React Router DOM. We are also going to import the routes and finally we will import routes so we will use these three things to perform routing between our react app and what i'll go ahead and do is to first comment this out from our return statement and finally we'll first start off by using the browse router so um just type the browse router right here like this close it up and inside here you need to also type the routes okay so we have to begin with another one called the routes hit enter on this and now we have the routes and then finally we we'll use this route to get our individual routes first of all i'll just type the name which is routes and i'll close it up so this one will be for our home page and it has an attribute called path and inside here you have to specify the path to where this route should go so i'll do a forward slash home so i want this to go to my home page and the second thing is the element so the element this takes the component you want to uh, display so in here we are going to embed some javascript and inside this curly braces i can type the name of my component i want So I want this particular route to uh, maybe display the home page. So all I'll do is to type the home here and uh, it should be element is equal to this and th this will be fine. And we'll perform the same thing for um, our blog page as well. So instead of home, I'll change here to blog and uh, we'll change the components here to blog as well. Yeah, so we have these two right here and you can see how it works perfectly so now we have to go into the individual blocks and then uh, assign functions to the buttons that okay when they click you take me to this page when you are click take this to this page so let's come here first in the home so we, we are going to import something we call use navigate so we will import use navigate from react router dom and inside our function we'll create a constant called uh let's call it nav and nav is equal to use navigate this takes nothing and uh, from here we'll have uh, an arrow function that when we call that function or anytime we click the button the button calls that function and the function will now uh, perform the routing for us so um, an arrow function i'll call navigate it takes nothing and inside here all we'll do is to do nav and we'll just give it the route it should go so in the home when click it should take you to what blog so yeah this is for the home component so in your home page when you click the route should just take you when you click on the button it should take you to the blog so now we come to the button and we give it the on click attribute we sign it to that particular function called navigate just like this so when you click on that button it should take you to the blog page okay so in your home component when you click on the button it should take you to the blog page and we are going to do the same kind of thing for the other components so i'll just kind of copy this same import come here paste it right here go back to home and uh, i'll copy this exact function yeah. i'll just change the route so i'll come inside this function paste this right here and uh Instead of going to home, blog, take me back to home when I click on the button which is on the blog page. And I'll assign the on click here to this particular function called navigate. And I'll click save and that's it. So now let's test this out. So now I'm on my blog page, today's news, and you can see we have some tests here. When I click on home, it takes me back to the home page. When I click on blog, it takes me back to the blog page. And you can see this is how simple you can uh, perform some routing. So we've defined um, our route here, which we have given it to the individual route it should take us to. We have assigned it to the components we have created. So that means uh, this is how simple it is. 
you are on your home page you click this button it calls this and navigates you to that particular page so yeah this is something uh you can easily do or you can easily achieve using the react router tool let me know what you think about this tutorial guys if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comment section for me i will be glad to answer thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial